Hey everybody, welcome to part 58 of Let's Play Football Manager 2011. And uh, since this one is being currently filmed on Good Friday, uh, I'd like to wish you all a happy Easter, even if it is, even though belated, probably, by the time this has come out. Uh, we're in the uh, quarterfinals of the Europa League now. Uh, of course, we fell at the quarterfinal stage of the FA Cup, and uh, had a bit of a scare in the quarterfinal stage of the Carling Cup. Let's see how we go this time against Marseille who, uh, as you can tell by the team, have some very, very, very good players. Yeah, uh, Luis Remy, of course, who is, uh, at one time was almost destined to come to Liverpool, apparently. You know, he was almost definitely going to come here. Uh, Bruno Sheru. Is it Bruno Sheru? Because uh, there's, like, loads of B. Oh, no, it's Benoit Sheru, of course. What am I talking about? Uh, Lucho Gonzalez, Landon Donovan, of course, used to play for Everton. Diawara, Garel Ainsa, of course, was another one going to come back. Uh... I forgot how, I don't know how to pronounce his name, but yeah, he's a good player. Um, our team, fairly getting getting back to this sort of midfield, apparently, and Charlie Adam has really been impressed with them, so he's keeping Morales off the team. He'll probably be coming back, though, in a rotation sort of situation when we play Wigan on Sunday. Fernando Torres, uh, his injury has still kept out. He is not injured, but he... Uh, is have he does have a low condition still, which is kind of annoying. But um, he's on the bench. He can at least make the bench this time. Uh, Babel and Kaut to Dutchies on the uh, wing, and Lucas is there. Aga and Skirtle, unfortunately, are both suspended, which is kind of annoying. So Kyriakos comes in for his like his third appearance of all season. Uh, let's have a look. How many appearances has he made? Yeah, he's severely lacking in match fitness. I might have to take him off for like Danny Wilson or something. He's yeah, um, overall, three appearances. Not the greatest, I think you will agree, but I have faith in him. I wouldn't recommend putting anyone out, by the way, if they do have low match fitness. Um, and I think someone said this in the co uh, something in the comments, which I will also, in, re in, re in relation to this, is, and I absolutely agree with it, make sure when you're onto your second season, you do pre-season games. You make, you've got to make them yourself. You can change it in the uh, menus. That it will like the the assistant talks about uh, will so, sorry will sort them out rather, but until you click that, it's up to you to do the uh, preseason games after your first season. Once you restart your second season, and Salmon Kalou just blasts it in from 18 yards out, nightmare start for Marseille, and we have a goal early on, and that was a wonderfully worked team over there. Great passing. That was Brazil. Everyone would be jizzing themselves, but it's not. It's Liverpool. <laughs> Um, anyway, let's, uh, as I was saying, let's go back to that. Um, just want to, I can't, again, I'm absolutely crap with names. I really am sorry about not remembering names. I don't bother to check. That's that's the problem. It just appears to me. And um, and then I remember it and talk about it. Let's have a look at Kalou's shot then. Oh, it's right, driven right down into the goal. Great strike from Kalou. Fills in for Torres there very, very well. And he has a goal. And Carragher's on this corner. What the fucking hell? Christ's sake. <laughs> if we if we score, I can't complain to be honest. Uh, see, oh, Cout's lifted it in. Babel cannot get it in there. I thought he should have scored, but I thought he might have had the chance. Um, but as I say, the pre-season things. Um, someone said in the comments, you've got to do it because if they don't, your players will start the season severely lacking match fitness. You know, I mean, you probably get you'll probably get onto it like right at the end of the pre-season, so you'll like hurriedly make like three games straight away. There's Remy with a shot. Oops, Daisy. Move up to control. I think I just want to stick it to control for now, just so um, because standard with standard, I mean, we're doing okay with standard, but you know, it's always it's always a bit risky. That was a big throw in. Um, Reina makes a good save. That was a big throw in there from uh, I can't read that name. It's too small. <laughs> the the words, the letters are too packed together, and it's Kalu with a poor effort. I'm I'm long sighted, so I can't bloody see. <laughs> As big liquido, I can't say that. It's it's too small. <laughs> you see, this is what happens when we don't have uh, Salman Kalou in your team. This is what. Oh, look at the look at the fuck it. Again, um, I say it every episode seemingly these days. Hard tackling, and is he not of the area? Ooh, that was close. Seem I uh, seemingly say it every episode. Hard tackling doesn't work, and I know. It's probably down to, and I know you're all going to be like, well, why don't you change it? Uh, yeah, I should, but to be honest, I'm too lazy, and it, I'm too lazy to change it in the menu. I, I, I don't, I don't want to waste your time with me just clicking on different menus. Um, 
but I think I may have to because this is getting ridiculous now. I think four yellow cards in the space of like what, ten, fifteen minutes. I mean, Cully's playing this um, lone striker's role, but he's actually playing it okay. He's he's breaking down the defence and he's he's doing well. He's just having really poor shots. Charlie Adam there and Mandanda makes a good save. He's another good player. I should have pointed that. I never forgot about him. Jamie Carragher was coming there. And Johnson, <laughs> I'm sorry, Glenn Johnson has a way better shot than that. We've all seen, you know, the goal of the season. I think he scored a few years back playing for um, Portsmouth. That was some goal. And uh, I swear to God, if we have another striker injury, I'm not going to be happy. Right then, Charlie Adam makes a good ball for Cout. What can we do here? Oh, nearly pulled it back. I think if we get a second goal, that is a bit of that's a bit makes us a bit more comfy. But for now. Uh, there's always a chance when you've got players like Luis Remy, who just pretty much went on challenge there on that right hand side. Of course, Benoit Sheru is, of course, the uh, brother of Bruno Sheru. <laughs> uh, I think he's somewhat of a, I suppose, I don't know if he's a Liverpool legend or not. A, me uh, a memorable player. Steven Gerrard there with a shot, and the keeper parries it out there. Good effort from Stevie G. Um, let's see, the corner's coming in. Oh, and Carragher again. The Carragher's making himself a bit. Uh, He's getting himself about in the box. That's two or three times now. He's uh, he's come near the ball. <laughs> the fact that he comes near the ball would get a Liverpool fan excited. Seriously, it's so rare that he scores. You know, it's not like John Terry who scores. You know, five to five goals, something a season. Um, you know, Jamie Carragher really does not score that many goals. I think John Terry's probably scored more in a season than Carragher scored in his whole in his whole um, sorry whole game, whole career. Sure, I should say, Chris. Um, Right, let's get hard tackling off some of these players. It's absolutely ridiculous. It should not be on there. Try put Sheru is easy. I think we'll keep we'll keep it on hard for the defence. I wouldn't mind that. Sort of a mix up. Actually, I wouldn't mind a mix of the of the pair. Um, I wouldn't recommend it still, but if uh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend it. But I wouldn't bark at you or have a moan about it if um, someone employed it. Oh, and Reyna makes a good save again. Reyna's making some pretty vital saves here. They're coming on to us, and they're, they're a threat. They are a bit of a threat. And again, Lucas gives away another... He's got another yellow card. And as you can see now, they're really starting to press and attack. I think uh, we I may change to attacking. We'll also go a bit more offensive. Might bring Torres on for the last 10 minutes, just to give him a bit of a run-out. Steven Gerrard with the corner. Again, Carrick coming near the ball again, Johnson. Uh, again, the ball's bobbling about like a pinball again. When well, it's Charlie Adam. Oh, he's played in Kaut. Oh, and if that nearly fell to a Liverpool player, it nearly bounced around the six-yard box there. Could have gone absolutely anywhere. So it's, it's a pretty even game. I think it's the one... Ah, oh, Babbles offside as per usual. <laughs> he always seems to be offside. He actually hasn't been offside in the game that often, but he always is sort of offside in real life. It's kind of annoying. Well, he was anyway when he, when he played for us. Kincheski's left foot. Kaut, he should have done better. The Mandanda was absolutely nowhere near that. He left his goal practically wide open. And he should have maybe done better there. Kerrago, so he's winning everything in the air. I mean, severely lack of match fitness. I don't think so. He's doing very, very well. Probably just jinxed him, as I always seem to. Always jinx players, don't I? Have you noticed? There's Lucho Gonzalez. He's a very good player. <laughs> Oof. Bend on that ball there. Uh, Lucho Gonzalez, yeah, he's another one. Um, I'm trying to think. He seems to have played for, like... Two or three Euro European teams we've uh, we've played. Kind of gets on your nerves. Let's say, okay, we're going to be making a few subs, and I'm going to have to take someone who's on a yellow card off. It's going to wait till this last chance comes over. Kaus seems to be gliding past them. There's Kalu, good save by Mandanda. Okay, uh, Charlie Adam. No, Lucas, Charlie Adam. For Jake Spearing. And, uh, yeah. That will do for now. So we've had double the amount of chances that um, Marseille have had. They just, I think, I don't know if they've had the better chance or not because we've had the likes of Kalu, you know, blazing over from a good spot. Yeah, I think it's quite interesting that um, the fact that I've just picked Jay Spearing over Raul Morales. Don't know why I've done that. I mean, it's not to sift to say Morales is in poor form either. I think that's how highly I'm starting to rate Jay Spearing. I don't know why. <laughs> I mean, yeah, as I say, you know, I've mentioned it again in, in other videos. He's done remarkably well since um, coming in. Yeah, I remember him in the derby uh, way back a few uh, months ago. He wasn't even that good, you know. I mean, I, I saw why Kenny picked him. So it was it was good thinking. But, well, I don't know, it, it didn't really work for me. 
in that game. Okay, we're going to put uh, David and Millwan, because I really like him. And there's a shot there from... Okay. But, you know, since he's come in against uh, City, he's done very, very well. And I can't knock him. He's done well against Arsenal. And um, he did... Oh, and sorry, Sunderland as well. That was it. Uh, look at Morelos. Hey, he's, what's he doing? <laughs> I'd say, this is an interesting long throw tactic. I didn't even know that was in the game. I mean, I have to assume it was. I just didn't know where or how. Marseille, this is interesting now. If they can, get, if they get an away goal, this could set up a very interesting second leg. Oh, and there we go. It's hit the post. And Cal yeah, he's going to have to. He's coming off anyway. So for younger move, he's as I say. I mean, what's passing movement here. Good God. <laughs> oh, fun. That's just gone over. Wow, that would have been some goal. That would have trumped our goal from earlier with the passing movements and everything. Well, as you can see there, I mean, look at that. They were on six shots not too long ago. Now they're on uh, ten. So, a bit risky now. We're getting into risky territory. I think we might go back to standard now. Go on, younger move. Go on, lad. Go on, son. What a, what an absolute amazing run from younger David Amu. I don't know why I keep calling him young. <laughs> that, was, that was his name. Uh, let's see then, and we'll take Sal and Kalof, we're just going to give Torres just a few minutes. Maybe we might, we might snatch a goal, maybe, uh, even though it's taken about 10 minutes for him to come on. Nope, that's nothing, and it's all over, and we take a very narrow 1-0 lead to Marseille. And I'm going to say to Amu again, he did well, because, uh, I'm sorry, but if you, you're that young, running that defence like that, and then having a shot on target like that, it's pretty good. And Charlie Adam, man of the match with yet another assist. Which uh, reminds me, I'm going to be having a look at our stats, I think someone's told me how to do it this time. But uh, yeah, there we go. Um, Marseille struggled to put us away, and Adam was on form, and they seemed satisfied. So let's attend the uh, post-match conference. It was a great start, as I say, and Charlie Adam once again proving a very, very good buy. Uh, but I think we can actually do the job in Marseille. If we can get the uh, away goal, then I think I'll be uh, I'll be pretty confident that we should go on and win. So he's only had the one goal, but he's had the uh, nine, uh, the 12 appearances overall. There we go, there it is. The, and uh, actually, we'll have a look at the, uh, at the scores. So as you can see, Tottenham like us take a narrow 1-0 lead to Germany against Stuttgart uh, of course let's see who scored uh, City I want to check City since uh, obviously they have no relevance to us at the moment <laughs> sorry if any City fans are watching uh, I have no relevance to your uh, to your team and Gareth Bale should, should we have a look then should we have a look Gareth Bale go on then <laughs> let's have a look <laughs> so yes first so Tottenham have that um, and Bale was type of the tap, and I thought it was going to be some epic goal. Gareth Bale seems to score all the time. But yeah, there you go. So we have the one 0 lead against Marseille, and Tottenham have their lead against Stuttgart. So we could be setting up possibly for an all English semi final, which of course could mean an all. It could mean at least guarantee that one English club is going to be in the final. Mm. Uh, let's have a look at the next fixture. Next fixture, say it before, was against Wigan and Anfield. I'm very, very confident for this. We should give them a bit of a battering. Uh, the 19th currently. In fact, let's have a look at the league as well. Um, point behind Man United as I say uh, with the game in hand Wigan seemingly are them and Blackpool may have actually gone so ooh that's not good for them right let's have a look at our uh, actually th this is where you, by the way this is uh, where you will do this kind of thing uh, as I mentioned earlier for, for your pre-season stuff go to if you go to your team name and then team settings uh, contract renewals handled by the assistant manager I'd like to check that take controls of friendlies you can do that if you want um, I wouldn't recommend any of that and then also what you can do is of course responsible for arranging friendlies I will arrange my own friendlies uh, later in the season sorry sorry later in the season the uh, start of next season uh, but let's have a look at some of the more uh, let's have a look at some of the stats and you can see we are the informed team although I don't know why it's Man United but whatever uh, as you can see now, Man United are pulling away from us, kind of annoyingly with the goals, but, you know, that's that's life. And we are, uh, Man City only conceded 18 goals, that's pretty impressive. And you see we have um, Everton are in the hope form, that's quite funny. We haven't played them yet at uh, Anfield, I'm really looking forward to that game, that should be a cracker. 
uh, Wayne Rooney has 26 goals. Really starting to play from Torres, who's been a bit of a just been a stop recently. He's been a bit of a bit of an injury, pat, bit of an injury patch. As uh, so average rating has also gone ahead. Uh, Wayne Rooney's gone ahead of him now. But Torres, six man of the matches, uh, but he's also got the assists as well. Gerrard's up there, Morales as well, Nani and Young with 11. And uh, yeah, I think that that is pretty pretty cool. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I will stop and I will meet you back here for part 59 for uh, the for the game against Wigan. So I hope you've enjoyed this and uh, stick around for the next game. So I'll see you then. Goodbye. <laughs>